saw Carly taking the munchkin to school. It's been April's talking to her again. No, it was a very quiet drive. Uh, well, kids can't keep up the silent treatment for long. No stamina. Well, that's what I keep telling Carly, but... Uh, you know, it's eating her up, seeing April so angry and confused. Well, can she help her to try and understand? You know, tell April why she was going to leave. She's only seven. Yeah, and already smarter and wiser than us old folkies. <laughs> Oh, Harriet. It's out, finally. Oh, your interview about Holly, how is it? Yeah, it's all right, I think. Painful. It's horrible to see it put so bluntly in black and white. It mentions the NE meetings a few times, so hopefully it'll help someone else's Holly. It's a tough read. Wouldn't have been even tougher to do, eh? Yeah, well, it needed to be done. Up to you. Have you seen this? Yeah, have a read. Give me two minutes, I can make things right. You can't. Well, I can if you'll let me, I can fix it. Like the bus? Sounds like it needs ditching completely. Yeah, Maura's right, you can't fix it. Well, if there's a way to get it running, Kane will find it. Why don't you let him fiddle with your engine for a wee bit? What have you got to lose? See you later. Diane, sorry I'm late. They sent cocoa instead of coconuts. Oh, I've got a snowball's chance getting those snowballs out on time. Oh, never mind. You're here now. Dotty's upstairs, snowing like I don't know what. And this one's barely stirred. Oh, how are you feeling, sweetheart? Good. He even managed to keep down some soup your dad made for him. Oh, that's promising. Is there any chance you're staying for an hour or so? Ashley's expecting me. I mean, I can take Dotty, but... This one needs looking after. Oh, I can't. I've got a client meeting. But Doug's free, and he'd jump at the chance to look after his grandkids. No, it's fine. Oh, Laurel, you know, I'd love to lend a hand. Diane, it's no problem. Thanks for helping out. <laughs> OK. <gasps> Bye, Arthur. I'd better call the care home and tell them. No one needs to watch me. I'm good. Really? How good? Score good. Promise. Well, I suppose I could run you there after lunch. Come bearing hot pot and the juice of joy. You know, if we're having the afternoon off, might as well go all in. <gasps> You're right, Debs. I'm sorry. Why? What's happened? Me, I guess. Brilliant. So you've got another monkey to join your circus of crazy to get at me. No, there's no need for insults. Why? You bring out the best ones in me. And you should know better. Sarah's suffering enough already. Right, OK, and what's that got to do with you chucking me underneath the faith bus? Because when she gets home, it needs to be good. She can't cope with you two at each other every time we're in the same room together. Right, well, we'll just avoid being in the same room, then. Which will be a damn sight easier if you just returned home to hell. You cheeky cow! After everything I've done for my family, and yes, that's right, they are my family too. You see, this... This is what I mean. Charles, you can't let her come home to this. Well, let's get it over with, then. Hey, ready to make some pizzas? No, Ringu. Yeah, I know, and I totally get why. <laughs> no, Ringu. OK, well, I'm, I'm just going to sit here for a sec, if that's OK. No, Ring. Go ahead. She can take it. April. I'm going to tell you about my little boy. You don't have a little boy. Yeah, I did once. Do you remember that time when I told you there was someone who I missed and that they lived in heaven? Well, his name, his name was Billy. I'm here, I'm listening. Let's get on with it. Well, it's not really me that needs to talk, Chas. No? No. See, I've said I'm sorry for everything, but this is your chance. Your chance to get all your pain off that perky chest of yours. Me? Yes, love. All that built-up blackness, the anger and blame, just let me have it. 
let me have it and then just get it out. So when it's out, it's out. That'll be the end of it. Yes. If you can't talk about it, you can't deal with it and you really need to deal with it. Right, so now you're a psychologist, as well as a psychic. And let's not forget a psycho. Yes, Chazzy, just let it out. Oi, right, Judas. Call your heels. This is all about you, after all. Oh, well, I'm just in the way. Well, this is about you two. But thanks for doing it, OK? Come on. Get some of this down your neck and just let it out. You said you'd give it a chance. Yeah. And you said you were sorry. You didn't mean that either. You just manipulated Debbie. You set her up to help poor, little, pathetic you. You pulled a classic faith. No. No, 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 no. You said I was to let it all out. Well, I'm not even warmed up yet. So when you were choking, I froze not because I don't love you, because I really do. But because you'd lost Billy. Yeah. I couldn't face losing you as well. I love you too. So am I forgiven? No. Sweetheart, Carly hasn't actually done anything that needs forgiving. She was going to leave us. Yeah, I know, but I swear, I swear I won't do that again. It's not that simple. It's not? You have to pass the test to get back into the gun. In the nation. In... Do you mean... Do you mean, like, an initiation? I don't even know what that is. We may have watched something. Oh, my... <laughs> you and your horror movies! Hello. Don't you want to hear what they are? They? So there's more than one test? Well, maybe you can plot them out on the way back to school, eh? I don't want to go to school while you're still sad. It is a lot for her to take in. Maybe we could just run through it together. Oh, I'm monkey. Just this once. Mm. All right, then, come on. What have you got lined up for me? First, we need glitter and chocolate. Lots of chocolate. Oh. Hi, Ashley. Grace says that you've been in here all day. And you've been off your dinner again. <coughs> <coughs> No, 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 no. Is it because of that nasty cough? Grace thinks that it might be a chest infection. Yeah, shut up, Grace. <laughs> Look who's come to visit you. Hey, Daz. <laughs> now, I was thinking... Mum. Yeah, one sec, darling. What about some soup? That might ease your chest. Mum! Arthur? 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 <gasps> oh! I'm cleaning. Oh, sorry. Arthur. Oh, poor Arthur. No, poor no, no, Ashley, you stay there, OK? Arthur, shut the door. Oh. Shut the door. No, another bug is the last thing you need right oh. now, OK? What? Oh. Please. Oh. Cheat. Oh, and lazy. Boy, are you lazy. Sound awful. Yes, you are. Stop interrupting. You're ruining my train of thought. <laughs> Cowardly. Manipulative liar. Yeah, everybody lies. Yes, you are right. Compulsive liar. Destructive. Yeah, that's enough. Vindictive. I mean, how vindictive do you have to be to call social services to take away your own grandkid from the people that he loves? No, no. I only told them the truth about Kerry being a useless parent and it worked. Cain finally became interested in being a dad, didn't he? And he's a good one. What would you know about proper parenting? Oh, here we go. I am not sticking around just to be a cat. Whoa, 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 no, you wanted this. Runner, quitter. I know exactly what I am. The same as you. No way. We both left our kids. I didn't leave Aaron because things got bad. I left him because I thought he deserved better than me. Me too! Stop with the lies! You knew we were trapped with a violent drunk and we had nowhere to hide. You knew that we needed you, but you still left us. I... 
thought that Aaron deserved better than me. I didn't know. How could you, though? Because if I'd have seen what a proper parent was, then I would have known that I could do it. I would have known that I was better than you. I would have taken him with me. I wouldn't have left him there with that. You made me leave him with Gordon. You! Stealing spark plugs now? I want to make things right, sort it. By trying it on again, you'll get a slap. You were gaming over yesterday. Oh, tickets on yourself, no surprise there. Just stay away from me, Kane. Fair enough. Excuse me. This is yours. And uh, this is your idea of fixing things. It's a thank you. Well, as good as you'll get. I didn't want it yesterday. It's from the garage takings. It's legit. I'll even claim it on my taxes. What do you expect me to do with this? I don't know. Some good. You're the vicar. You know what he's helping around here. I mean, church roof for stars. It, this doesn't change anything. I'm not dropping it. Careful, vicar. You look disappointed to see the back of me. I'm cheering from the rafters. Do you seriously think you can spook me? Yeah. Well, um, <clears throat> I mean, yesterday you were just there, so uh, don't go reading anything into this. You can't blame me for Aaron's suffering. I do. You can't blame yourself either. I do. Because you never showed me any different. I'll never forgive myself and I will never, ever forgive you. What, what, so I should have stayed in an unhappy, violent relationship? That would have made a difference. Yeah, well, you should have tried. Or taken us with you or come back or... I wanted to. So I only left for an afternoon. Let Shadrach sleep it off. And then... No, I thought I'd take the night, and then the night became a day, and then the day became a week, and then a month, and, I, and I'd left it too long. Pull the other one. You know what? You've told yourself that story so many times that you almost believe it, don't you? Don't kid yourself, because you left because faith comes first over everyone, every time. No, but... Uh, when I came back that first time, all those things that you and Kane yelled at me, you were right. I didn't deserve you. So you did another disappearing act? Did we say coward? I think that was in that list of yours, right? Right. right. What, why this time, then? Hmm? Why now, after a decade of being AWOL, why now? Because one day I woke up and it felt like I was dead. Only I wasn't. I just had... No one I cared about in my life. And then I saw Sarah's fundraising page and it was like a sign. And I had to come back for you. For all of you. That's it. You felt sorry for yourself. Yeah, I did. And I felt sorry for Sarah and Debbie. And you and Kane for abandoning you both. No, you don't mean that. I'm sorry. Sure, yeah. I am sorry. No, no, I am not falling for your lies and your games and your I tricks. So, so, so Get sorry. away from me! I'm sorry. Hey. Oh, 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 what's happened here? Someone's been driven to chocolate. Mm. It's April, she's napping upstairs. 20 eggs, 20, should Carly ooh, make and decorate. Ooh, ooh. And the rest, there'll be twice as many in the bin. <laughs> Those ones fell short of April's quality test. Mm, but you didn't. What, so you're forgiven? Yeah, after I've cleaned this up, this is my final in a nation. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm, uh, I'm back in a gang, back in a family. Oh. Marlon told me it was your idea. 
for me to speak to her about Billy, and you were right, so thank you, Dad. Can't have been easy, love. No, but she was great. And I'm sorry for how much I've messed up lately. You were right about facing my grief. I'm always going to carry Billy around with me, so it's time to stop running. <laughs> now, tuck in. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> You and Moira came across well. It'll help a lot of people seeing you so together and successful despite your struggle. Gives people hope. If you can kick addiction, so can they. But they've got it all wrong. How? Well, they say she fell back into old habits. She didn't. Jay, Holly used again. Yeah, but she was really well and she was happy and... They make it sound like she was always going to use, you know, like it was inevitable. Yeah, Not just a one-off. No, they make her sound like any old junkie, and she wasn't. She was Holly. The NA group starts again tomorrow. Are you planning on going? I don't need to. I'm good right now. It's just the article winding me up. Jay, the article works. It tells people that brutal truth about living with addiction. How it's always part of them, no matter how strong they feel. You've got the keys to the hall. I'll go in early tomorrow, set it all up. And stay? And stay. You meant it. You sorry? I am. Can you... I know you can't forgive me, but can you let me try to start making it up to you? I'm tired of hating you. Then don't. really huggers, are we? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit soppy and... You had me convinced that you were sorry and then when I try and hug you, you push me away like I'm diseased or... Do you know what? That's, that's my fault for thinking that you changed when really you're just the same hard-faced cow that you always were. I shouted because I was scared. I didn't want your dad to get too close and risk getting what you have, because he's already sick, isn't he? It'll be OK, Mum. I promise. Arthur, why did you say you were feeling better if you weren't? Cos Mum wasn't have to worry even more. Oh, it's fine. Let's just focus on getting you better, OK? Come in! I just wanted to see how the little fella was. Hi, Grandad. Mum's angry. It won't last. Mums, you find it really hard to be angry for long with sick kids. How long will she be angry at you? <sighs> Not much longer, I hope. Maybe we can help her be less upset together. Well, what you got in mind? Because I'll be honest, I'll try anything. How was he meeting? It was a lie. I saw a chance for you to let your dad help out. Oh, Diane! I know, it backfired spectacularly. If I'd been here, sick little Arthur wouldn't have gone to the home. Oh, oh I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can stay here if you still want me. I'd better make tracks. I'll be in touch. Still alive, then? Managed to come out with all your limbs intact. We screamed. Thanks.
and cried. And then she rejected me. Yet again. What? How? What was I thinking? Falling for it all over again. When I know, I know what she is like. Don't ever do that to me again. Faith is cruel and she is selfish and she knows all the right things to say. But then when I went to hug her, she pulled away like I'm toxic. What is wrong with the woman? Do you want a cuppa? Just a tick! Well, if you've been affected by the issues raised in tonight's Emmerdale, you can visit itv.com slash advice for more information. Well, there's concern from the Barlows next when the truth about what happened to Ken comes to light in Coronation Street.